Yes, I will move on uh, and tell a little bit about uh, some hands-on on the MR5300. So uh, before we start, I will tell a little bit about Aliris, the organization. It's uh, one of the Scandinavian largest private healthcare, and uh, it has more than 20 years of experience. And um, the organization has more than 5,000 employees uh, distributed over 100 locations in, in the Nordic region. So it's a quite a big organization. So a little bit about me. I'm a MRI technologist, and uh, I almost have 10 years of experience. I worked also in the public sector and now in the private sector, and I'm also partly responsible of the for the MR5300. Uh, this is a short video of the, the scanner and the scanner room and the control room as well. So we got it installed in uh, two to three weeks by a team from uh, Netherlands, and uh, they did a good job. And uh, afterwards we were, uh, we have uh, application, five days application, and then we were up running. The, the scanner has uh, no quench pipe and is helium free um, and is, uh, it's also fully sealed. So it, uh, it, it reuses the helium, the seven liter of helium uh, inside the scanner. And this is a video of, of the, the changing room, the waiting area and the scanner room as well. It's, everything is new here for us too. And now, a little bit about the uh, MR5300. 5, uh, as you can see, you can choose to have two uh, white screens like we have on our scanner. And uh, the screens uh, have, a man have many functions. Uh, for example, you can change the, the easily change the patient position. And, um, and uh, you have... Uh, uh, it's a uh, ability to to have one touch positioning on the screen, and you have also options like changing light intensity, music volume, and fan speed uh, on the wider screens. And um, on our egg head uh, examination, uh, you don't need to have uh, light vision uh, before you positioning, and you can also initiate the exam from from the, the side and by one touch on the screen. And one of my favorites uh, on this, uh, this scanner is uh, the hooks, uh, which you can see above the, I just put a, a mark right there. It's a hook for the headphones and uh, you can also use it for the emergency button. I think it's really great. <laughs> I use it a lot. and. Um, Philips did a really good uh, job for 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 uh, for patient comfort. They have some um, the the scanner has some comfort mattresses. It's very soft and spongy, and uh, and the patient feels very relaxing. And uh, and if you have back pains, it's it's uh, it's helpful for for not moving a lot while we are scanning. And uh, yeah, generally it's, it's easy to switch positions uh, in the different exams. So you can you can easily switch the headphones and the emergency button and and the coils, uh, whether it's a feet first, head first, or yeah, on the back or on the stomach. And also you have the head tilt function. Uh, there's a plate underneath the head neck coil. Uh, some of you know it from from the older models, and um, it's it's a very good function, and, and the pa patient feel it's it's very uh, relevant as well. And also the auto voice, you have it, you have the auto voice um, more than 40 languages, which is very important for the communication uh, before and on the during the scanning. Above the the head coil, you have the mirror glass. You can also use it without the tub off. And uh, you have the view uh, out of the scanner. If you have a monitor on the wall behind the scanner, you can show some 
relaxing nature movies or mindfulness movies. And, uh, and we have a painting, um, a nature painting. It's very, very relaxing and, and beautiful to see. And also you can see there's plenty of spaces in, in the ball. And uh, this size, uh, the diameter size in ball is uh, 70 centimeters. So yeah, it, it also have a, a big, um, uh, big factor on, on the no skin contact on the sides. And that's uh, that's very important if you talk about the safety and the heating to the patient. Um, so that's very relevant also. Yes, here's something about the wide screens. On the top left corner, you can see the patient name and the patient ID. You can also adjust the weight while you are uh, preparing the scan, scanning. And uh, there's many functions. You can also see which kind of coils is connected and how much time there's remaining. That's uh, also important uh, information to the patient. And you can also adjust uh, yeah, the fan speed and the music volume, as I told you before. And uh, yeah, you can also um, be sure that, that uh, you have connected the cardiac and the respiratory as well. So, and the speaker button is, is is a good way to speak with the patient while they have headphones on in the bar. Uh, and here I showed you the, the light vision and the one-touch uh, positioning. It works very well. As the coils, the neural coil is uh, is it's, um, it's it's right here on the picture. It's easy to handle. You can. Uh, easily take the top off when you are doing examinations like uh, neck exams and uh, while you are scanning head you have to use it on but um, but uh, you have plenty of space in it and if you have a, a patient with a large head you can also remove the mattress and then you have a little bit more space inside the coil and here's the view you can see the paintings inside of the bowl most of our patients are really great about it. The breeze coils is a, it's a game changer, I think, in Philips uh, MRI world. They have two MSK coils, one uh, small and a medium, and then you have a large uh, torso coil. It, um, it, it, it uh, com compared to that, uh, to the previous model, the entire coil, you use the torso coil this time, and uh, it's more, much more lightweight. And it's more, much more comfortable for the patient. So it's not so heavy as the previous entire coil. We use it on the uh, abdominal exams and spine exam, and you can also use it to the hips uh, and many more. The MSK coils have uh, eight channels each, and you can connect it up to two coils at the same time, which is uh, very important, and uh, you, you get some much more signal. But uh, it's, it's very, uh, you have to be aware of how you position the coils, uh, but I will show you in the next slide. The D-Stream interface converter has, uh, has also been changed. It's a, a much smaller converter. It's not as big as the previous one. It's easy to handle, easy to take off and connect. And uh, that's make it more easier to, to uh, change the position and prepare for the exam. The extreme coils, uh, uh, when, you are, you, when you're preparing for the knee exam, you, uh, we use two coils. So you have 16 channels. And uh, as I show you right here, there's two pictures of it. We use the universal positioner where you can put the coils in it and adjust the size of the, for example, the knees. And uh, here we use the medium size uh, under the knee and from the side and the small size of the breeze coils up, uh, on top of the knees and the and we did a little bit wrap around the knee 
so you get the signal uh, all the way around and then you reduce the strap and it's uh, it's easy to to prepare and set up the patient uh, uh, and it's very comfortable for for the for the patient and there are some questions i will just answer it uh, while we are doing uh, how many exams you are doing in average uh, daily oh uh, we we usually scan from eight to nine ten i think we have about three to four uh, exams in an hour so yeah uh, i think it's quite a lot and isabella has a question as well is it possible to connect two abdominal coils um you have to be aware of you can use the torso coil i think uh, i think it's uh, what i remember it's, it's 10 channels on the torso coil I, i'm not sure but you can use that and the posterior coil below the table uh, i forgot to tell you about that uh, under the table you have a posterior coil as well and uh, it says on the product sheet how many channels the, they have all together the extremity coils for shoulder uh, how you prepare for that have you set up for that and uh, we used uh, for example our our uh, employee from uh, Philips Jacob as an uh, example and then uh, and uh, to show you the small one we used it around the, the shoulder and did a little bit wrap around the shoulder area and we uh, used a medium-sized coil under the arm and scapula and we did uh, many um, many different ways you know, with with the wrapping and uh, set up for the for these cars I, I think this is the best uh, solution and we got the best results with this solution so I will recommend that but you can also do like two wraps around the shoulder area uh, using the small uh, first around the AC and the shoulder and then you use it on the humerus side you can use uh, use the medium coil but this is uh, this is much more comfortable for the patient a little bit about the technique uh, one of the uh, uh, most impressive thing that uh, Philips uh, did with this scanner is the vital eye function the vital eye is a camera is uh, which is uh, uh, on the behind of the scanner and uh, it uses uh, AI technology to detect the breathing of each patient uh, during the scanning and um, it works very well and uh, this is honest I have tried uh, on a different types of examinations and uh, it's very impressive so uh, so you can also use it uh, combined to the multivay next D, which is the motion corrected uh, algorithm which also available in the scanner and the compressed sense which is the acceleration uh, tool and uh, we have it on the most of our examinations and it works uh, very well especially on our neuro uh, exams and then you have the comfort tool to reduce the the loudness from the scanner and it's also a patient centric uh, uh, thing with this comfort zone and then you have the OMAR for reducing that effect from from the metal implants which is of quite impressive too uh, MRI safety is uh, one of the uh, important things when we are talking about MRI and the Philips uh, they are uh, they prioritizing this very high because uh, you are you are scanning patients. This is human. You are putting inside the the, the magnetic field, high magnetic field, and um, if you have some implants, you can limit your gauze and your saw uh, by using scan wise, and you can put the numbers on it and uh, you will not get some uh, you're not getting heat from from the implant and uh, one of the things the mattresses has they have some u-shaped growths uh, 
on the sides. You can use it uh, for your arms, uh, for the arms of the patient if they don't have any uh, clothes on on the arms or, or uh, then you don't have some skin contact to the side of the skin and you can use these grooves. Or you can also use the grooves for the cables as well. Uh, and this is a lowering risk for, for heating to the patient. So what I like about this uh, MR5300 is, is uh, this is a comfortable patient experience. And that's the main thing on this scanner. It's, uh, and our, all of our patients, I think 90, over 90% 90 of them, they feel very relaxing and, and not so afraid for, for the scan before the scanning, but afterwards they had a good experience. Uh, and they, it's really, really a, a nice experience for them. And it's also easy and fast to, to set up the, uh, the exam. 